Hey guys, and welcome to another Week in Review. Now, before I forget, if you guys want to watch this episode at its awesomest, please watch it on your phone or tablet, but definitely on your phone, and you'll be able to really see the most awesome it, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to look as good. It's still going to look good, but, you know, because I'm in it, and uh, Lambo's in it. But, you know, other than that, anyways, let me cut to the chase, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. So without further ado... Here's the week in review. Man, I just realized that my Monday motivational video, see, right here, the one I'm uploading right now. Anyways, look at that. It's my 600th upload period in the story total. Crazy. I mean, it's kind of weird because in a weird way, um, I don't see like it's a lot because I'm doing these every single day, but it is a lot. That's like over two years of videos or at least two a year and a half, almost two years. It's a lot. Oh man, long day. Forgot to check in with you guys. Anyways, I'm about to eat dinner. Uh, this is just a banana that I'm going to eat with dinner. Because it's good. You know, I'm really starting to water. I'm really starting to wonder where the water guy is. It's starting to worry me. I haven't seen him all week. Maybe he's at the beach, party. I wouldn't doubt it. Water. Mmm, coffee. Alrighty, so we got a little business entrepreneur dilemma. So I got this project that I've been working on for a long time, but it's just taking forever because, you know, the person, which is my client, is taking a very long time with the notes and taking a very long time with uh, information. It's just uh, getting frustrating. But in the meantime, I have uh, other clients of mine, which are freaking awesome, and I love, shout out to you guys out there if you're listening, who, you know, are always sending me stuff. Everything's organized. The best awesome, you know, um possible organization and script and the whole nine and it just makes my job so much easier and in fact as they send them which is now i'm like you know what i think i'm going to work on those as opposed to you know breaking my head over some other client which obviously just doesn't understand and uh (sighs) anyways i wish everybody the best everybody's awesome we're all great but you know we all just got to be very considerate of each other sometimes and uh i understand sometimes it's just a little hard but I'm just venting with you guys right now. So, you know what? I'm going to get back to work on these projects because I have a lot of work to do. And um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know, after that last post, I was just thinking, man, maybe it was a little too harsh. So, I decided to, you know, check my blood and I saw, oh my God, I'm hangry. And I didn't have any Snickers bars, so I just had some hummus. Oh wait, I gotta get back to work. What? Alrighty, well, I'm on my way to go pay the phone bill because I don't know if you guys remember from last week, but I had to go and run in the middle of my live stream. I had to run in the middle of my live stream to go and pay the phone bill last minute because, uh, well, you know, if I didn't, then I wouldn't have phone service. So, alright, without further ado, I'm going get to the, get the walking in this uh, 7 billion degree heat. Alrighty, well, easy peasy, already done. You just come in here, go to the cashier, and uh, you pay up front, then you give them your number, and uh, that's pretty much it. Sure is fucking hot as fuck out here, though. It seems to be getting hotter and hotter. May, May, my, May, May be the hottest month after all. 
uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with a government recommendation and uh, go and have a 40 ounce of beer or two. Hey, what are you guys doing? Are you guys on BitTube? Are you guys on DLive? Are you guys on Twitch? You guys better be watching me. Somebody has to be watching me. Besides Lambo, that is. Look at him, look at him. Fucking hot. It's making everything melt. The computer, my phone, my balls. My balls are dripping sweat up against the wall. Is that, is that how the song goes? I don't know. Something about sweat and balls. Hmm. It's so fucking hot out here today. Like, for reals. I think they broke a record or got close to breaking a record. Good morning, everybody. How's it going out there? A little late for me. It's like 8 o'clock. Uh, was up late last night getting some last minute work done. Ah, oh, so beautiful out here. Very nice. It's nice. It's a little windy. It's not so hot. It's like nice and cool. Trying to enjoy the morning before the sun comes out and makes it unbearable as usual. But I got some good news. I heard that um, it might actually cool down this weekend a little bit because it might rain. But I just looked at the weather report and it doesn't look like there's any rain coming. So whatever, it is what it is. But you know what we do have? We have some coffee. Some coffee. You know, one of the really cool things I learned about living out in really hot areas with mosquitoes um, was this thing right here. You guys are probably thinking, what the fuck is this? Well, this has a little button on the side and you just push it and you kind of like move it around and you kill flies with it. I remember when I was in Vegas and like I was living close to the lake and there was like a gazillion flies everywhere. I would just turn this on and be like <laughs> fucking killing them all over the place. And here, there's not that many as there were in Vegas by the lake. But, I'm going to tell you, they're still hanging around here. And it's really cool to, you know, have a bunch of mosquitoes that are fucking kicking your ass and just bothering the fuck out of you. And you can just actually kill them. And it's really fun. It's like a fun little game. It's like uh, electric fly tennis. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. Electric fly tennis. And uh, I'm glad I have this thing. It's the best thing ever. And it just charges to the wall. And yes, you can get electrocuted. I already got electrocuted by this once. One of the things I love about living out here in Mexico as opposed to other parts where, where I lived is that when I talk to my cousins, like I was talking to my cousin this morning, um, you know, for the most part, you know, before it was always very hard or pain in the ass to come visit me or whatever. LA or come visit whatever. And then when I tell them I can't, then they're like, oh, okay, um, well, you know, we're going to come visit you. And I'm like, oh, okay, awesome, great. So, again, another benefit of living in Mexico. People come visit you. I mean, they're always like, oh, come visit, husband. come back to Miami, come visit, whatever. But as I'm living out here, I'm finding it that it's a lot easier for my cousins and family and friends to come visit me because, sure, they always invite me to, hey, can you come uh, visit um, in Miami or come visit? Speaking of uh, visitors, I better hurry the fuck up. I got a few things I got to do before my girl shows up uh, i'm gonna go pick her up at Pasel montejo like i did last week and uh you know spend the weekend with her and have a lot of fun for those of you guys out there that were concerned very much about the water guy well he was just on vacation i got my water thank god this thing was running out already but yeah no he was just on vacation his partner came and said hi so another little fun fact so you remember the old lady next door that sold me the water and also has like a little mini convenience store well my girl that's coming to visit you know she needed some aspirin so she was like hey can you go get some aspirin so i was like yeah let me go to the convenience store check it out by the way if you're in enough heat for a very long time don't drink water and all that shit you know that's usually when you get headaches even myself all of us we all do so always stay fucking hydrated always as you can see I'm always dehydrated. So I was able to get two aspirin for four pesos. And uh, I think that comes out to a few pennies, a few cents. Not quite sure. Very cheap. Four pesos. So when in Mexico, do drink the water, okay? Do drink it, okay? If you don't drink it, well, then you're going to have some problems. But that's pretty much anywhere where you're sweating balls all day long. Even in the desert. You know what I'm saying. Okay, I got to go. Alrighty, it's fucking hot as balls out, but it's really windy. It's really, really windy, and it's kind of cloudy, so it's actually helping with the heat. It's not as bad as it was yesterday, I'll tell you that. 
Also, I think it's only because it's still pretty early. Wait, you see that purple place over there? The one I'm always walking by and showing you guys? Well, they have really fucking good food there, I'll tell you that. You should check it out sometime uh, if you're ever in the neighborhood. Uh, if you guys are ever in the neighborhood, you should check them out. They have really, really good food there, which was a surprise. Yeah, I was surprised. It was good. All right, it's hot. And almost fell. <laughs> oh, hey, I just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Um, I know it's on Sunday where most people celebrate it, but I'm in Mexico and they celebrate it here on May 10th. So, and that's today. So, happy Mother's Day out there to all moms. Oh, he's so tired. Oh. What that to chocolatico? Yeah, it's good stuff. Very good. Habla español, inglés, ruso. Español. Español. Oh, Muy okay. bueno. Muy bueno. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so I recorded past the 15 second mark, so now you're gonna have to have 15 more seconds of just me and her staring at the camera. Well, good morning. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had an awesome weekend. I did. I need a lot of coffee this morning. Mm. Coffee. Howdy, it's already been a long and lively morning. Um, it's only 10 a.m., but I've you know, been able to accomplish a bunch of stuff. Key to waking up early, wake up at 6 a.m. So now, before it gets way too crazy hot, I'm gonna see if I can go to a Centro because I gotta go pick up some stuff, uh, take up my camera, film an episode. Um, I think I might have an episode for tomorrow that I'm going to be filming right now because there's a lot of stuff happening all over the place uh, news-wise, so might as well just start talking about it. So, all right, I'll see you in a little bit. Man, I was just finishing up an episode, and of course, just as it's almost done, the camera overheats and it shuts off as usual. So, I had to take some desperate measures for desperate times. Look at that. All right, hopefully it cools off enough so that I can pick it right back up and finish today's episode yeah it's hot <laughs> you already know what time it is it's Monday night time to live stream we're already going full blast I even got this phone going on be live hope to join you guys hope you guys join me later on tonight if not well I'll see you guys tomorrow well I'll see you guys later you out there happy taco Tuesday hope everyone's doing all right just waking up getting my coffee ready yummy you know I hate waking up late uh, but sometimes you got to do it sometimes you wake up uh, really late because you went to bed really late working busting it out knocking it out doing all that Hustle, hard work. I don't even know what I'm saying. Obviously, I need my coffee. I haven't had it yet. It's still there. Oh my goodness. Drink some coffee, Jose. You're not making any sense. Wait, more? Not? I'm not making any more sense than usual? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, I woke up late, meaning I woke up at 7.30 instead of like 7 or 6.30 in the morning, the usual. So, yeah, just saying. It's like 9 in the morning now. I've just been doing a bunch of little things here and there. And I need my coffee so bad. By the way, look at this. You see this? Isn't that an awesome painting? Christian, my girl. That's her name, by the way. She painted that. I just found out the greatest freaking news ever. For those, for those of you out there that know my situation that I've had in the United States and in Texas, over some bullshit. Um, well, guess what? I just finally got word. I just finally got the news that it's all over. And I win. I won the case. And it's over. I'm free. Yay. Hooray. The injustice is over. And it only took all my money and everything I owned just so I can prove that 
I'm, I'm, you know, that I'm free. I mean, just so that I can prove that I was not wrong and now I'm free. My freedom cost me everything. But at the same time, it brought me everything that I have right now, which is fuck yeah. For a little more context on, on this stuff, well, again, this was two years ago. Some situation that happened to me back in Texas, you know, again, where I was wrongfully accused and wrongfully arrested and wrongfully, you know, run through the ringer. And I literally had to pay for my freedom and literally had to buy myself my freedom back um, and it's finally all over and done with and and there was a lot of you guys that helped me through this whole process um, in many many capacities and it was just amazing I'm glad that it's finally over and now it's time to celebrate um, and have some fun and uh, enjoy this moment because I'm freaking free hell hell yeah man oh, man what a, what a crazy ordeal but man what a what an experience that's for sure Man, I have literally been on the phone all day talking to friends and family and that whole deal, you know, just celebrating and spreading the good news um, that I'm finally free. That whole situation is finally done and over with and a chapter in the past and no more of dealing with that shit. But, you know, with that being said, I got to get back to reality and get back to work because I got a project that I should have already turned in a few hours ago and I got to finish it so I can turn it in, get paid so I can feed myself and feed Lambo because we're hungry. Just finishing up some last minute videos, some last minute uploads, some last minute clients. A lot of work, a lot done today. Very happy. Oof, man, I'm hungry. <laughs> the regulators don't like it, which is always a problem for compliance. And where's the long term value? Just this this idea that they're going to cut the number of units in half since it's such a scam. <laughs> like, that's just totally BS. So I'd say two things. One is um, it's. Just gotta sit back and enjoy a little bit of my fruits of my labor because again you got bitcoin going up you got the court case situation settled you gotta celebrate a little bit just finish working on all my clients doing a lot of videos you know it's it can't be all about work all the time you also gotta be able to just sit back and uh enjoy the fruits of your labor but regardless uh, it's uh all back to work back to work just uh sending some emails while I smoke a blunt. At the end of the day, like I always say, if you love what you do, it's not really work. And it's also all about multitasking, seriously. Why can't I smoke a blunt and make content for you guys? And also at the same time, oh, by the way, don't get it twisted. I do more than just write emails and send emails. I also read them. Write emails or send uh, emails and do all that stuff and all the other stuff that I do I mean I can multitask I think you guys can too right I hope so you already know what time it is coffee o'clock minus a spoon these things are kind of hard to swallow that's what she said. You already know what time it is. It's time to do the live stream because that's why Lambo's behind me. And um, as you guys can see, got the whole setup going. I'm going to be on YouTube today, as always, every Wednesday. Hey, 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 look at that. It's Lambo back there. We were just finishing up today's live stream. I know, I forgot to, you know, post as I was doing the live stream, but hey, better late than never. If you want to catch the, the whole live stream, just go to my YouTube page and you'll be able to watch the preview. I mean, what is it? The re review, the re. What the fuck am I even saying? You know, the rebroadcast of my live stream. This horse is driving me crazy, all right? Anyways, if you want to watch it, you already know where to go. Long ass day already. Not complaining. Because that means more coffee, baby. Yeah, buddy. More coffee. Why would I complain about more of the nectar of the gods? Alrighty, it's showtime. I'm about to hit the road because I got to go pick up some groceries. So, it's time to record something. As usual, it's always time to record something. I just finished recording something. Got to record something else. Got more recording later on. It's a content making machine. I'm recording right now. Holy fuck, man. Am I ever going to stop recording? Actually, even when I sleep, I got something recording me as I sleep, you know, for my stalkers. One thing I do love about coming to Walmart, especially like today, 
God, there's nice and cool AC in here. So nice. So nice. I might just go to the bed, bath, and beyond section and take a nap in the beyond section. I'm in Walmart. So another cool thing about living here, you see how I'm drenched in sweat? I'm not the only one drenched in sweat. Like, there's a lot of people drenched in sweat. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys some pictures, some videos of uh, others I find drenched in sweat. More than me. Also, another thing, you know, my GoPro, it's always turning off. It really, you can tell like how hot it gets because it usually, you know, records, you know, for like around 20 minutes before it turns off due to heat. But today, it turned off like around at the 15 minute mark. It's really hot. If you're wondering why the alarm keeps going off, there's somebody back there. Did you see him? See him right there? He just keeps turning on and off the alarm. I don't know why. Also, I'm just waiting for some money from them, from a payment, from a client. So I'm just here recording, getting some AC, enjoying life. He's out there that smoke cigarettes. Look at the prices. Look at the prices. So it's like around $2, $3, 250 $3, you know, for cigarettes. I'm on my way out of here after another successful game of Walmart Tetris. I made it to a really final level. As you guys can see, I got tons of shit all over the place. So let's see if I can make it all the way home. Alrighty, I'm back home and back to work. As you guys can see, we already got the whole system set up as usual. And um, I just filmed a fresh new episode for tomorrow. And uh, what the episode is about is literally a big ass thank you to everyone. All of you guys. Because, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just out here recording an episode. I'm trying to do a, a blog thingy. Hey, say hi, Spence. Say hi, John. Hello. We're here on Discord. Come join us sometime. Please. Mad as fuck. I'm fucking tired and exhausted. Just finished recording another episode with these guys. So we did like over two hours of recording and uh, I think the second hour came great and I think I'm going to put the whole thing together and have like a little podcast thing and upload that Friday and I hope you guys enjoy. Lambo did. Alrighty, well, just showered. I'm about to relax a little bit. Been working all day. Still exporting that video vlog thingamajiggy. And I got dinner cooking. We got some chicken, yummy. The hustle never sleeps. I sleep sometimes. Lambo sleeps sometimes. But the hustle never sleeps. That's it. Alrighty, well, I'm upstairs. I was trying to film a special episode on my balcony because, you know, there's shade, it's not as hot, and I'm just thinking to myself, well, you know, this thing is not going to turn off in the heat. It turned off. So sad. But it's alright. By the way, it's extremely hot today. Let me explain. Because as you guys can see out here, it's just cloudy as fuck. And what do these clouds mean? It means it's humid as fuck and when it's humid and it's hot that's the worst combination seriously i'm from miami or if you've ever been to miami you'll know exactly what i'm talking about pure hell plus the weather sucks so hot so hot but look how pretty it's so nice out here so hot get classic a little coño Woo. you can see the sweat almost yeah you can see it Whoa, it's getting real dark real quick. Let's take a look out here. Ooh. It's the clouds of the dark nature. I hope it rains. It's fucking hot. Well, why I contemplate whether it's going to rain or not and hope and pray to God that it does so I can cool down a little bit, I'm going to start uploading these videos so that I can have it ready for Sunday because guess what? It's time to go. Well, I'm still going to be here, but you know. Long ass night, lots of work. I need coffee, coffee. Uh, where are you, coffee? Come out, coffee. I need you. It's alive. It's alive. Yes, yes. 
Thank you. Finally, it's about freaking time. Hurry up, coffee. I need you in my belly. I need to wake the fuck up. Okay, so we just plug this in. So much for watching. Glad you enjoyed it. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And um, I'll see you guys next week. As always. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm always here. See you guys later.